Welcome back to the ranch. Today my plan is to test some 40 grain 22 hollow points, specifically Aguila Interceptor 22LR and CCI Velocitor 22LR. They're both copper plated rounds and we're going to test them out of a three inch pistol, well three and a half inch pistol barrel, the Walther P22. And uh, let's flip a coin and see which one we should chronograph first. I'm gonna go with the Velocitor. And we got 10 rounds loaded up because that's the capacity of the magazine of the Walther P22. And I need to get back a little further. Let's try seven feet. Pretty standard for this channel. That safety off. Chamber around, goes in good. See how we do. 1,046. 1,042. I don't think I got that one. 1120. Not sure that's right. 992. Close balance. 1,032, 1,031, 1,003, didn't catch that one, 1,028, I, I got at least eight rounds on there, it's a little tough for this particular chronograph or brand of chronograph to capture them. We had a high of 1120 and a low of 992, an eight shot average of 1,036 feet per second. And we'll go with that for now. Now let's try the Aguila interceptors. Get back to the same distance. Yeah, that chamber is good too. 1,028. 1,037, pretty comparable so far. 1,024. 1,020. 1,016. 1,040. 1,023. 1,061. 1,035. And a thousand seventeen. So strangely, I believe the Aguilas, if we review that string, a high of a thousand sixty one, low of a thousand sixteen, and an average of a thousand thirty. So even though the averages are quite similar, the Aguilas are actually slightly more consistent than the CCI velocitors, as at least as measured by this Pro Chrono LTD on this particular day with these particular sky conditions. Next up, let's try these two rounds against each other in ballistic gel. All right, we've got about a 16, 16 and a half inch column of gel laid out today. We've got the Walther P22 again and the Aguila 40 grain interceptor hollow points versus the CCI 40 grain velocitor hollow points. And these these two rounds are meant to be shot out of a rifle, and today we're gonna to be testing them out of the three and a half inch Walther P22 pistol. Obviously, with any kind of a meaningful clothing barrier, these both are gonna clog up and over penetrate. What we really wanna see is what if they did expand, how short would they stop, given that their velocities are coming in about 400 feet per second slower than the list velocities, which which are meant to be from a rifle barrel. So I'm going to test them in bear gel. And first up, I think, eh, let's do the Velocitor first, since we chronographed the Velocitor first. I just have one round in there, and if it fails, I'll load up another one. Again, chamber's just fine. And right now I'm only shooting from about four feet away. 
All right, that is exactly where I wanted it. Now, let me show you this. Here's the entrance. That's actually a pretty impressive little entrance wound for a 22 LR. It curves to the left just a little bit, but as you can see, that bullet has indeed expanded a little bit and it has come to rest. Let's grab that, uh, grab that ruler. Let's count backwards. Let's go to the very nose of the bullet and count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half inches of penetration. That is actually pretty impressive for a bullet that's going 400 feet per second slower than its list velocity out of a rifle barrel. All right. So good work from the CCI Velocitor. We'll obviously, uh, we'll dig that out of there and check on the expansion. But before we do, let's try the Aguila Interceptor. Feeds just fine. Right where I wanted it. And once again, we have a capture. Look at that Aguila. Look at that Aguila going even further than the than the uh than the velocitor out of the three and a half inch barrel. Compare those two tracks. Really similar. We've we've got a uh, little bit of a different look right at the uh right at the entry points, but really similar performance overall. And the Aguila penetrating just a little bit further than the Velocitor. That block is just short of 12 inches. So since it's right at the end of it, that's 11 and a half inches of penetration. And here's the Aguila's unburnt powder spray from the short barrel. So ultimately i'm probably still gonna still gonna prefer the velocitor over the aguila just because the velocitor shoots a little cleaner out of a pistol but let's get the uh, let's get the calipers and dig those rounds out okay so we got the calipers we got let's just look at them from the end here so that seems like a pretty good vantage point I don't know if we really... The Velocitor definitely seems to, to show some expansion. I'm not so sure about the Aguila. Let me just dig in there and grab that. Okay, so this, this is the hollow point cavity right here. It's definitely wider than it was. But uh, uh, let's, let's look at the widest. Yeah, zero that out first of all. Zero out the caliper. Look at the widest axis of that little oval there. I'm not sure that's any wider than 22 caliber. In fact, it really kind of isn't. Now, it has begun to expand. You can see that from this angle. There is some hollow point cavity expansion. It just hasn't, realistically, it hasn't even expanded to 22, you know, uh, show the, the diameter of the body is you know, 2210 on this caliper right through the middle. So the expansion from that hollow point cavity is really meaningless. Although 11 and a half inches penetration in bear gel, that, that's actually, that's really almost ideal. Now let's get in there and see how the Velocitor did with it, with one inch less penetration, there looks to be some expansion. Well, let's just look, yeah, put the, put the Interceptor in the background, set the Velocitor next to it, and we'll just move the camera in here really, really close. 
That is the Velocitor on the left and the Aguila on the right. So here they are, both running about 400 feet per second slower than, uh, than list velocity. And that's obviously down to the fact we have a three and a half inch barrel pistol instead of what, a 16 or an 18 or a 20 inch rifle. But let's, uh, let's check how much that Velocitor actually did expand. Zero that out. Try to figure out the widest possible axis here. It seems to expand, seems to be pretty even all the way around. I think that might be the very widest right there. And you can see it's gone about 0.289 of an inch. So there's, I mean, that's not 50% expansion or anything like we see. It's nothing compared with uh, CCI Stinger or even the CCI Uppercut. But that is still worth having. That is not bad for the Velocitor. And those are both 40 grain hollow points out of the three and a half inch barrel of the Walther P22. Those are both potentially lethal rounds from a 22 pistol. All right. Thanks, folks. This is Dave from Discrete Defense Ranch. Have another great week.